to the channel. I am on here today, as you can see, with a mishmash of dollies. This is a little bit of a haul that I have been working on, oh, I would say for the last uh, few weeks or so. I have been traveling and in and out of town, and I just had a birthday, and so I had a couple of things that were um, here and there and everywhere, and I just thought I'd kind of do um, a little haul and dolly chat and show you some of the fun things that I came about. Sorry, I wanted to do a quick cutaway because I also wanted to show this. Along with my um, signature looks that I did um, complete here, as you can see, this is the six, the collection of six. And if you were um, lucky enough to find the guys, that was a really um, hard thing to do because even at the Mattel site when they originally came on, the guy sold out pretty quickly, especially uh, number 17, the Asian guy. And then I know a lot of people were looking for the redhead and the blonde, and they've all uh, succinctly have been, you know, kind of hard to find in their own rights here and there. And um, so, yeah. But also, I wanted to make mention that if you are a Mattel uh, club member um, in their doll collecting line, you were privy and able to buy this, and she was the last addition to this uh, Barbie signature look. I had pre-ordered her so very long ago when it first came out. I know that um, everybody's been waiting patiently for their dolls, and it, they're, we're only just starting to see them trickle in now. But she was one that I definitely had to have not only because she completed the series for me but also she happens to be my favorite in this um, particular series so let's see I'm hoping that I've got a good one here and um, that her screening is okay I love when Mattel does this tissue protective tissue they don't always do it but when they do it's really a nice surprise Oh my goodness, and she is absolutely gorgeous. I'm sorry, I'm just taking a peek at her for the first time myself. There she is with her raven locks. I love the contrasting colors. I know some people are having issues with it. It's very 80s, 90s in terms of the color schemes of these bright colors, but I, I love it. She's so beautiful. Let's see if they do a group shot. No, it's just her in the back with the outfits that combined make these different looks for her. So I am really, really, really pleased to have her. Barbie Looks Wave 3, that's this edition, is curated collection of dolls, each with a bold, bright look and style and personality. The on-trend fashions feature photo-worthy details and with play, posability, articulated bodies, they inspire the style within. Barbie looks dolls are ready to style, pose, photograph, and post. She is number 19, and as I say, she is a club member exclusive. So if you are a Barbie club member exclusive, you would be able to purchase her. I love her accessories. Um, I love the different looks that can be created with her. I Like I said, she's my favorite one of the bunch. I love them all. And um, we'll get back to sharing the rest of the haul. Thanks so much. Um, let's see, where do I begin? I'll start with uh, these little Barbie mini extra, extra. These are mini, mini extras, I guess that you would call them. And I'll try to show you as best I can because with this camera and lighting, it's a little nuts. This little girl here is on roller skates. I love her so very much. She's so cute. She's got this beautiful purple and pink and blue hair. It's just, I'm so sorry, I'm out of frame there again. The way my camera is set up, it's a little off to the side and I kind of forget to move things over a bit so that you can see better. But anyway, she's got these really neat cloud sunglasses and a little bag that looks like a tumbler or a beer keg there. Either way, she's ready to go. She's super duper cute. And I'll move her off to the side. This was all that I could find for this mini, mini extra series. I don't know if there are others, 
but for now I really enjoy them. I love the brunette. I I always I always enjoy a brunette. She's got these crazy aliens on her dress. She's got little jelly, little granny boots there and some peace hoop earrings and this cool like hot pink jelly beanie and she's got a fanny pack or now I guess they call them a crossbody bag. Wow, the lighting is a little nuts, so do forgive. There you could see some of the stars there on the um, fanny pack. And then here is the pink gal for good measure. She's got a gummy bear purse, and she's got these little white go-go boots on that you could see there, her hair. Their hair is really, really nice. I mean, these these outfits are beautiful. They're well done. They are complete thought out. Um, you know, the accessories, everything. They're just so well done. I appreciate the little stands with these dolls. Somebody said to me that they reminded them of little kittles. Yeah, they do. The little skadiddle kittle size kittles. Um, this would be exactly that size, the skadiddle kittle size for sure, for sure. This lovely lady right here with her purple cat eye glasses and her roughly little lip dress. She's got a little bow purse. She's got her little urban kicks there to keep her grooving on the street with her little urban hoops. Love, love, love these dolls. So I'm pretty fine with this four. I do have the original series one um, of the mini extras and I'll show you um, a size comparison just compared to these mini minis. So this is the size comparison and you could see that yeah, there there is a big difference. I mean, I thought these were pretty cool for mini Barbies, but then you add on the mini mini on that, and oh yeah, that's a lot of fun sizes there for Barbie, for sure. And speaking of Barbie and sizes for Barbie, um, I'll show you this gal right here. You might have seen her. Um, this was my first Barbie that I got, and I found this outfit for her, which I thought was really in keeping for a mermaid collab that we have coming up. She's even got her birthday cake there, so I thought that was a nice present for myself. I love these little mermaid heels that come with this pack, as well as the birthday balloon. So cute. Love her, and I love her in this outfit. This uh, doll originally came with um, some boots, but I really much prefer the high heels. So that's a reason why, another reason aside from the birthday theme, that I liked that. Plus, I think she goes really good. I got the last of my signature looks in. And as you can see here, those two guys were the last that I needed. I know everybody's showing those, so I won't go into too much detail about those guys. They complete and finish the series for me. And I'm happy to say that I've got them all, which I love. And then here is um, my first Barbie. This is the blonde. Initially, I thought I wasn't going to get her, but I came across this really, really pretty gal while I was visiting in Texas. I mean, her bangs were perfect. Her face wasn't bothering me too badly. And I loved those shoes. I love, love, love the shoes. And her little kitty, who doesn't love a little kitty? So, and I removed the little tush tag from these um, little plush pet friends of theirs because the tush tags are really bigger than they are. And as you know, they're rubber bending. So that brings me great joy for posing and styling and just overall um, great fun. So those Barbies there, in comparison to the look styles, boy, oh boy, they are a tall drink of water for sure. And then in keeping with the minis, mm, I had to get this. I, of course, you know, we have this mermaid collab tag coming up. And I thought, wow, she's speaking to me. I have to get her. And then my sister says, well, what about the fairy? I know that you guys just had the fairy. And this one's giving me very much Emerald the Witch vibes. So, of course, I had to have her as well. And then um, while we were also shopping there down south, I found these little Care Bears. And, oh, my gosh, I know a lot of you have been getting these guys. But, oh so cute let me see if I can I had already I thought I pulled this one out let me see here they make great little pets and loveys for your dolls and yeah I just I had to have this one so look at how cute this is I had to tear it out of the little box there but look at that little face and they're just so plush and squishy and darling I only wish that I found other colors uh, um you know I'm sure that they made the other guys but I was only able to find the sunny bear and this little face was just too cute and too hard to resist. So I had to do that little Sunny Bear 
little uh, Care Bear mini. So cute. And then my sister, um, she had given me, I'd never had those color reveal dolls that you get the tube with. Look at this hair on this doll. And um, she's got a cool little backpack there. And she's got this wild, like, I don't know, it's very 80s, I guess, uh, neon vibe here. She's got these cool little jelly boots. And I never really thought much of these surprise color reveal doll Barbies, but she's actually quite lovely. And her hair, I mean, you know, good night. It's, it's beautiful. There's a lot of hair here. And I just, I guess I didn't expect this much from these color reveal Barbies, but she's really cute. I love the head articulation on her. Um, I know a lot of people like to put made to move bodies on these girls, but I can appreciate her for what she is. I love her tall, tan legs and uh, body. She's got a really nice tall body, so I'm not really, um, you know, too anxious to swap out that body. I'm fine with it. And then let's see here. Also, my sister had given me this because it's party birthday theme with this cute little, um, uh, it's just a sweet little um, ribbon, banner, baton, if you will. And then it's just got all these little party goodies in there. I love that. The little party tray, the little balloon dog. And I just, I think that's so cute. For get, uh, Glitter Girls or my Blythe dolls. You know, it always comes back to Blythe, right? And then, let's see here. While we were down south, I um, happened to go to a little, it's called a mercado, and it's like a little marketplace in Spanish. And I picked up some other things that I thought would be fun for my Blythe dolls. Uh, for Cinco de Mayo, these are really pretty authentic Mexican little sombreros. They're done really beautiful. I just love the sequins and the tassels and all the work that went into them. They're like a little velour, little velveteen type thing, and they're just done so well and so I got a couple of those I know that um, MGA had their the other little one of those um, doll with one and this is about the same size and so did Barbie and Ken and then I bought these serapes of varying sizes here that I thought would be cute this would be a great one for Barbie or Blythe I like the colors on this one too Real authentic. I love the cotton. These are all made by actual uh, Mexican um, artisans. Really pretty. Really well done. And I always like to support uh, the community when I can. This is also a nice size perhaps for Blythe. These would also make great rugs or wall hangings. Here's a larger one that would have been for an 18 inch size doll. But I'm thinking it's a great bed blanket or like I say a nice uh, throw or a little rug for the dolls. I just love that. And then um, I got these cute little maracas, little sets of maracas for the dolls. Like I say, I'm thinking about Cinco de Mayo, if I can ever do that, because I know a lot of people are doing mermaids or mermazing or uh, May the 4th and lots of fun stuff like that. So May's a big month too to do, um, you know, cute little tags and things, inspirational um, tags. Here's this really cool little skull bracelet that I also got at the Mercado. I just love that. Love that. And then I got a neat little shopping bag for one of my dolls. I'm thinking Blythe because she always needs a handbag. Something to tote her things in. And this is a a beautiful um, folklorico as they call them type clay art. And I like to use these with my dolls. I also got Tons of these little clay, and they're actual clay, Mexican clay pottery, I guess. And they're all painted by uh, Mexican artisans, which I really love and appreciate this tiny attention to detail. These little bowls, so pretty. I wanted to get a couple like in um, the different styles and colors. Let me see here. Um, I want to be careful just getting these out of the little bag here. And this is the little uh, black set. These are deeper bowls, like cazuelas that we call these in. You can cook in these and eat in these. And then the, this is another little serving plate style. Love those. And then here are the larger ones. This is a nice big bowl. And I hope to, I used to really do a lot of crafting with Fimo and Sculpey. So I'm hoping to make some clay pieces and perhaps some clay food for these 
beautiful serving dishes and trays. And here is that little um, bag. And then I also got these beautiful, they're like little water urns, little, um, they're called cantaritos. This is um, actual Mexican, made in Mexico. I tell you, when we were down south, we were so close to the border that at just one small turn and you would be in Mexico. That's how far down south we were. So we were able to get these wonderful, authentic clay pieces, pottery pieces, and I love, love, love those. All right, now, I am also going to show you, on top of all this stuff, that I wasn't done having a good time yet. I also um, was hitting the dollar stores, the Dollar Tree, and while I was at the Dollar Tree, you know, I'm always looking for things that are related to our next collab, our next hashtag, and um, I was able to find some goodies. So let's see here if I can show you some of the things that I have. As I did mention, we are going to be doing some fun things, but you know, Dollar Tree always presents some neat ideas. So I got some green foliage here that, you know, I can always use for just about anything. I love that, that, that makes me happy. And I got some packs of seashells or clamshells. Those are always fun. I found, because as I say, mermaizing, a lot of people do things for mermaid. And I found these really cute mermaid tails. And they're just some neat um, wood pieces that I'm thinking about either coloring or just doing something really um, neat and artsy with. I just love those. They're on a little... Um, Raffia like that so you can hang them or do something neat with that and then I was also able to find These dolls. I have the other the fourth one, but she's hiding from me now This is uh, the forever friends and you know coincidentally enough. I noticed that Iha is a mermaid. She's giving me snow white Snow White vibes, but she loves collecting seashells and you know trinkets on the beach and baking cookies and she wants to be a marine biologist and learn everything she can about the ocean so she's very apropos I think for the mermaid collab coming up that kind of a vibe here is Karina she loves space so May the 4th that's another great tie-in she dreams of becoming an astronomer exploring the galaxy I love these little dolls and I love the glasses on her and um, this one, oh boy, everybody's been trying to find her. I know some people have her. It took me forever. She was a little find. My daughter and husband found out there for me. And this is uh, Viera. She has a passion for crystals and gemstones and making art and bringing the outdoors um, and, at, you know, being in outdoors and adding more crystals and gemstones to her growing collection. And she dreams of becoming um, a mineralogist or a geologist, which I think is really cute. Um, more in keeping with some of the themes coming up. Look at this little Barbie tea party. That's also a, a fun little thing, tea parties we have. Here's a mermaid tail pen. I like that. And in keeping more with the uh, sea, under the sea theme, we have some coral there and um, a pail with some sand and seashells and here are some more seashells. Gotta love the Dollar Tree. They always seem to be thinking what I'm thinking or always seem to be having what I need. Here's a little seahorse and a little um, treasure chest. And also for May the 4th, I found this. This is really cool. This goes for your Barbies. It's the space helmet astronaut gloves and some moon boots there, which is really cool. And then I found these really neat iridescent gems, uh, gem beads there that I can use. And this Easter grass, which I really like because it's, you know, giving me uh, like a seaweed vibe there. And I cannot resist, I'm such a magpie, all of the sequins. Look at these sequins colors. These are giving me definite mermaid vibe colors there. I love that. Who doesn't love sequins? And in keeping with that, we've got some pearls. We've got this really like golden pearl and 
this beautiful white pearl. I love those in various sizes. And then as if those gemstones aren't enough, I've got some more bugle beads and seed beads. And oh my gosh, I lose my mind at the Dollar Tree and I don't go very often. And now I know why my husband tries to keep me away because I just lose my mind. Look at the fabrics. This is giving me Sally Nightmare Before Christmas uh, vibes with that Rick Rick. And uh, I think about my girlfriend Marna over at Dolls Rescued with these bicycles. I just love that. These are $1.25. I mean, good night. These are fantastic. This beautiful flower theme. I love that. It's giving me Hawaiian vibes there. Luau tiki vibes. Um, in keeping with mermaids and sea, there's some shark material there. And also, I love this tea towel with the um, sand dollars and the starfish. And then I found this raffia, which is like beautiful mermaid colors and sparkly. And I just, I, I love that. I love, love, love that. And um, let's see. No, I'm not done. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Then at Target in their dollar spot, because, you know, who doesn't love the dollar spot at Target? I saw this, and I had been on the fence about it, but I've seen so many people do wonderful things with this, and I had to have it. It's, um, it's like a little, it reminds me of a little cabana, but, you know, for baked goods or little tea cookies and tea cakes, I've seen people put two together uh, side by side, as my sister was telling me, and they use them as like little houses that house all kinds of delicious, delectable little treats and goodies, and I like that a lot, too. And also, one other thing that I wanted to show you from the Dollar Tree that is sneaking here on me, because I have it off to the side. These are little stickers, but they're pop-up. They're, they're domed. And you know what? They are giving me ideas for Blythe eyes. I haven't tried them yet, but definitely they look like they would be a good eye chip kind of a deal um, to try on a Blythe. So if you're at the Dollar Tree, you might want to look into these. I mean, these are really kind of neat, $1.25. And, you know, these are better than the printable paper ones, if you ask me, because they're just really neat, high shine and iridescent. I like that. And then also I got some more succulents and things like that, filler type items. I got some uh, terrarium um, shells and beach pebbles that I could use. I'm hoping to use anyway. And let's see. Oh, yeah. This was something that I also, um, while cleaning out the house, my brother collects as we do, and he goes thrifting, and my sister-in-law saw this in his stash, and she said, couldn't you use this in one of your dioramas? And I said, absolutely. I can imagine this in my... Um, fireplace setup that I have with my uh, dolls, my big dolls. I like that. And then uh, let's see what else I've got. Aside from that little tea caddy there, um, my sister gave me this one that's vintage and old that she also took from my brother's stash that I love. And that would be also really cute to perhaps put Blythe uh, things on, you know, use that as a little accessory rack. And then, I'm as I was thinking about my friend Marna, she had wanted to do, know about my egghead that I had made for my Blythe doll. This is how the egghead sat. I did like a little paper mache egg for my Dolls Gone, um, Dolls Gone Goth bad egg. And I like this little egghead. I thought about attaching feet and arms and making her like a little Humpty Dumpty. But I might leave her as this. But Marna was curious as to what little Blythe that I had hiding under that when I did the Dolls Gone Goth. And Marna, this is for you, friend. I'll show you my little girl that I had under there. She's eating a lollipop, no worse for wear, from hiding in that little egg and, and being the little bad seed for my little um, eggs gone, um, Dolls Gone Goth bad egg. So she's cried a little about having to be the bad girl, but she's happy now. I just love her hair. I put it in these ringlets. And her hair is so lush and beautiful. And, you know, yeah, it always does come back to Blythe. I just love these girls. And uh, 
they just they they tug at my heart they really really do i also have a very special blythe that for some reason i've had her for so long now that i really do need to um show her and do something fun with her but uh, we're gonna say um hello to marna and uh thank her for um the dolls gone goth bad egg and jay at jay dolls uk too and one last thing before I go, I know that this is crazy and long and that I've lost my mind here, but I also did receive another box today and I, um, you know, I realized that American Girl, boy, oh boy, the reason they keep you coming back is because once you buy something, if you're on their plan, you start to accrue dolly points, uh, American Girl points, uh, dollar points. And with that, you know, I have managed to get great sales. Like on my last doll, Maritza, I got her for well under her uh, store sale, what you would buy retail for her. And in purchasing that, even that, even though that was a sale and I got with some points, I garnered more points. So with those points, I got, and when I was with Marna, God bless her, when she was here visiting uh, in February, we went to the American Girl store and I saw this Chihuahua and I wanted this Chihuahua, but I did not want this Chihuahua for the $35, $30 that they were asking for it. So with my Dolly points on the sale of the Maritza doll and all the other goodies that I got on sale, I was able to get the little Posey, the little Barker Posey doggy for almost nothing. I, I, I was just so excited about that with my bonus points. And here is the little Chihuahua. I will show you. There went its little, um, it's got like a little toy. But anyway, what I love is it's articulated. It's completely an articulated. It can move its little head. And the tail is kind of cool. And it can do a sitting position. And let me see here. Do bear with me because I want to show you what... If I can get this thing, I am just having a time. Let me see. This little doodad here, this little um, doggy treat is really kind of cool because it's actually, is it going to stick to you, honey? It's magnetic. Yeah. So little Barker Posey here, the little American Girl Chihuahua, can actually hold its little treat. I love that. And I love, like I said, that it's articulated. So anywho, this is my haul. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you to all my new subscribers, old and new. I love you guys tons. And I wish you a totally, totally awesome weekend. And I look forward to seeing your videos. See you soon. Bye.